All right, Peter here, just want to run through what I think is probably the biggest trap there is when it comes to the 4.5 litre Toyota 1 VD V8 engine. On the um, oil filler cap, a lot of people may know about it, they have a spout. They run a cartridge style oil filter and they have a spout up the centre of the oil filter to hold that oil filter in place, open so that the oil can get sucked through. Um, and, and the way it works, oil comes from the outside, suction from the oil pump pulls it through the centre. The big trap is with these, and you have to be extremely careful because it happens all the time, is that spout will come loose. As with this one here, this is a normal one that's been removed. The spout breaks away from the inside of the housing. They simply twist and lock into place. So as you undo them, they seem to twitch, come under and unlock. The spout then comes out of the oil filter. It stays in the oil filter, gets thrown in the bin with the old oil filter. Person who's changed it isn't aware that it has happened places the new oil filter in the old cap that has nothing now to support that oil filter from the oil pump sucking it closed. The end result is an oil filter like this. This is one that came through just recently in a 200 series cruiser. When the oil pump, so you get a little bit of restriction on the out, it now has nothing to hold it in place so it just sucks shut and blocks off oil supply. Generally as a rule they do three to five hundred kilometres after the oil filter is changed before you have an engine failure. The resulting engine failure is a crankshaft style failure. Normally they will pick up in the Conrod bearing, so you will develop a knock. Uh, the engine can seize, etc. but at the end of the day, it is terminal. So we put brand new cranks in them all. We don't reuse any cranks that have had any sort of failure. So it's, it's two grand for a crank, let alone the cost of remove, replace, and to re, re, um, recondition the engine. The bearings itself will weld to the crank like this. This is where, I'll try and get that off that's how hard it is and that's why you can seize because the bearings actually weld to the crank or they will spin in the rod so they'll weld to the rod and spin in the crank or weld on weld to the rod and spin on the crank or weld to the crank and spin in the rod either way it's a throwaway it's extremely expensive it's engine out you've got to check every time what i recommend is every hundred thousand k throw them away they're not expensive, they're from Toyota, we've got them. Every single engine we do, we replace it, just every time regardless, just chuck it and put another one on. Same deal, 100,000 k is just part of the service, just throw it away. This will never happen, it, it should be a serviceable item. But it is probably, like I say, it's the most expensive track that's very easy to make. If there's any way I can help or you've got a question, please give me a call.